Hello and welcome to this SimScale video tutorial where I will be showing you how to import a model created in Autodesk Revit. We are first of all going to quickly prepare this sample Revit model taken from the Autodesk website in order to perform an external wind analysis using the LBM method on SimScale. Let's start by deleting any entity of the model that won't have a significant impact on the flow. Select the entities around the building, for instance, with the box selection tool and press the delete key. Next, we are going to remove any large or detailed object inside the building, such as rails, ramps, furnitures, individuals, and light. You can see that we have a few of these inside the model. We are going to be able to delete all these uh, types of entities at once by simply selecting the whole building and then going into the modify tab of our ribbon and click on builder. You can then select the categories uh, that you wish to select uh, and the count of the object within each of the categories. When you're ready, click OK. And then you have only these categories uh, of object selected. Simply press delete uh, to remove all of them. Our model is now ready for export. And uh, before that, uh, you might also want to check if there's any gaps or any big uh, flaws in the model. If you notice that there's uh, gaps or any uh, tricky geometry on the uh, outside of the building model, I would encourage you to go on to our previous video where uh, we have a bit more of an in-depth uh, cleaning procedure for our Revit model in order to uh, perform CFD analysis. Once you've cleaned up the model, select export and cat format and ASIS or SAT file. Click on next and then you can save your model on your desktop. We are now on our dashboard on the SubScale platform. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Revit import example. And click on adding a new geometry and select the SAT file you previously uh, exported from Revit. Once the model has been imported, we can create a new simulation and select the incompressible LBM type of analysis. This populates a simulation tree on which we can adjust the external flow domain and create a geometry primitive for our transient output result. Select the external flow domain orientation reference and input the coordinate of the Cartesian box into which you want to output your result. We can check our velocity inlet, assign it a fixed value or assign it a value that changes with the height in turn as a form of a table. We can do the same with the intensity of the turbulence and leave the rest of the boundary condition to the default. We're going to use a simulation control to uh, assign a certain duration of our simulation. We're going to set it up to 100 seconds, which corresponds to about two to three times the air passing through the flow domain. And select the transient output that we previously created as a local Cartesian box. Select your statistical averaging geometry primitive output and do the same for your snapshot output. For the mesh settings, we're using an automatic type of mesh and adjust the roughing length to about the size of the building we are doing the analysis on. 
we are now ready to uh, start our first run for this analysis. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions through the comment section or log on to simscale.com and ask your question through the chat.